So I was hoping to take you on a, this exciting trip and do some hiking into some of these really remote areas to get some, some remote area fishing and whatnot. But as it turned out, we just couldn't make it there. There's actually tracks going in, cars have pushed their ways in, and we've actually ended up back in an old faithful spot. So I had a new bag to try, I got some new gear to try out, and um, in the end I got the car sitting there. So what do you do? Anyway, we're still gonna fish, cook up a feed, and um, yeah, got some new gear to try out. So anyway, hope you enjoy the video, stick forward. In here, hidden amongst with my frozen steak, I thought I was going to have to carry it all, some cold beer. So, that's what I'm going to start with, before I even set me better. Funnily enough, it's got to get down to 10 degrees tonight, and I know, at 10 degrees, I'll get a cold backside if I don't have something to sleep on. So, um, I'm going to put this little yoga mat, a bit of insulation underneath me. Seems to do a pretty good job. They're a bit bulky, but they're light. Maybe one day I'll lash out and buy myself a down under group. But for now, this one does a trick just nice. Just got to get diagonal in there. It does work. Sleeping bag. Bit overkill for some of this thing, but what I got will do the job. Yeah, it's alright. I'll be able to sleep in there good. That will be fine. I think I will do. Just slide it up a little bit. Down sleeping bag, squashed in his bag. Go to ya. What shrimp? Wouldn't love a tortilla. Nice 
crush them, twist them, smash them. Put that in the water. We're going to have a fire tonight. We've had day after day after day of low to mid 40 degree days. Now everything's really dry, and as you know, we've had some bad bushfires. So. But it's a little bit breezy. We'll have a small fire. It's going to get down to 10 tonight, so it's cool enough to have a fire. We're allowed to have one here. We just got to um, be sensible about it. So, small fire will be fine. Hopefully gum leaves are alright. They weren't the driest ones I've ever seen, but they look like they did the job. They look like they're gonna. Actually on that note. More like a little cigar. Look yeah, the wind spinning. Look at that, I had the wind, I checked the wind's direction the wind come from. I'll keep it out in case I need it. If I put it away, I'll jinx myself. Getting too cocky. Get the cigarette. Funny when you see like those leaves, how easy they burn. Oh shit! Yeah. And how much heat they generate with that eucalyptus oil in them. You see why things go bad when it gets gets away from you. It's crazy, isn't it? Dangerous shit. Goes up all right. Ooh, cool. Strong, <laughs> stronger than me. <laughs> you couldn't break that one. No, nah. not enough oomph. Got here had enough oomph. I didn't have enough oomph. Oh, I'll find a can of beer. <laughs> you can spot any spot. Well, I must have it. Well, the chairs are more comfortable than they were going to be anyway. Oh, shit, yeah. They're right, those are the ones, I reckon. Yeah. They're just low to the ground. But as far as actual comfort, right? They kick you back to the comfy, too. Bring back a right on them. Sure. No. Nah. That was good, sir. Another hour. Oh, God, I just. Yeah, I know. Should have bought a jacket. <laughs> yeah. My bag just had so much stuff. I weighed it before I went. 
So I added the beer to it, I added steak, I added, I had two kilo, two litres of water, um, and I'd already switched a couple of little things around, I ended up weighing, it was like 26 kilos. I was three kilos overweight for that bag, that bag I bought, the Osprey Vault, it's rated to 50 pounds, so it's like 23 kilos. Yeah. So it's actually a little bit over. And I know my other bag was suffering a bit from it. <laughs> yeah. See, if you're doing a hike, like a proper hike, you're trying to cover lots of distance, you wouldn't carry none of that. No, you wouldn't have right. saws and axes and no. you'd have bare bones. Seriously, got anything here. Oh, Trevor. She's loaded, mate. Heaps of them. That ought to be what's getting your worms. <laughs> Come on, focus. That's it. These little freshwater shrimp. We're getting so many bites on the worms. They're just harassing the rod. I said to, uh, to Trevor that it's probably these little guys and there must be 40 or 50 of them in the net. So <laughs> I'm guessing that's what it is. And um, we'll put some on and see if we get any fish with these guys. Two of them, two for the win. That's see, it. That gets some cod and yellow belly that are lurking. <laughs> Double banger baits. So, we had limited beer supplies, turn that off, limited beer supplies because we thought we were hiking it all in, but we did bring Old Faithful lighter fresh orange juice, makes one litre, and a bottle of vodka. <laughs> Before your eyes. Turns a Nalgene bottle of water and a Nalgene bottle of orange juice. The only thing I've got to say about it is, it's actually pretty sweet. Since they've added sugar, but I guess orange juice is pretty sweet, I guess. Yeah. Anyway, it's all so good in a blue bottle, makes it look green. Anyway, <laughs> so on that note, oh, I can't see. I'd say you can't put too much vodka in. There's no such thing as too much, but sometimes the next morning you don't agree with that when you say that. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, the vodka and orange. Oh, and a bit of smoke from the fire. And I've got a vodka and orange, and I'll I think I'll sit down with that and a and a cigar. Actually, I'll have a cigar with that. Smells alright. The fishing's really quiet at the moment, so um, Trevor had on earlier just with scrub worms and we're getting lots of little bites. And I said, so many and so continuous, so maybe it's actually shrimp. You know, we put the shrimp net in and um, lo and behold, within, I don't know, 40 minutes or something like that, yeah. we had maybe 30 or 40 shrimp and they're good sized ones too, some of them. So anyway, we put two of them on, cast it back in, and it's literally dead quiet. So. I don't know, with a population of shrimp like that in the river at the moment, maybe there's um maybe there's no hungry fish in there. Because <laughs> there's so many shrimp they could be having a field day. But, yeah. right. Trevor's got one of those um, rod holders that takes spring loaded. And um, he said it was a bit like a rabbit trap I call it, because I reckon they're dangerous. Anyway, it just went off and he has got a thumper. Oh, he has got a thumper. It's going hard, it's pulling back out. My camera battery's gonna go flat. <laughs> oh, oh shit. I'll find my phone out just in case. Now I'll we'll just try getting him filming this. Uh, fighting this, should I say. If it goes flat, I'll grab my phone quickly and film it with my phone. Keep him on trip. So dark out there. Well, this doesn't happen in freshwater fishing that often.
<laughs> oh, he didn't take you on a snag, has he? No. No, you got a big one, Trevor, I reckon. Here he comes. Keep away from there. Yeah, keep him away from those snags on the left. What have you got? Oh, it's just a big car. There you go, that's anticlimactic. <laughs> Just a big carp. The way it went off, <laughs> I thought you'd gone to something really good then. I was like, oh, here he is. He's under a good cod. Oh, Back on the worms, eh? Yeah. I'll see how it goes. He's a good size one. Oh, want a little bit of green wood for um, put me grill on. Is that hard? <laughs> Funny red gum. Grill on it, some coals underneath. I'll cook to be steak. Give me fry pan. I'll do some capsicum and some mushrooms. Yep. All, all Trevor's favourites. Nothing wrong with a few mushrooms with your um, steak, Trev. Oh, yeah, yuck. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, right. I'm making the pizzas and that at home. I think I have more capsicum and onion than anything else. Oh, okay. I've got no onion tonight, but I've got lots of capsicum. I'll just fry this up a bit on the side while I cook my steak. And we'll use this as like toppings over my steak, I guess. Yes. Um, I'll let some mushies to go with me eggs and bacon in the morning. <laughs> oh, okay, do. No, sir. Oh. Fat T bone. Oh, some heat over here. I've got to give it that. Smoke's not good, is it? <laughs> oh. Just about need some gloves, Drew. Don't want to kill the sausages. They're going to rot.
all going. It's all going good at the moment. Trevor, I know you don't like mushrooms or capsicum, but you gotta say it looks alright, doesn't it? No, it doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> looks horrible. <laughs> oh, I love it. What do you reckon, Trev? All right, done, you reckon? Yeah. So you wanna um, a wrap to put your a wrap or two for sausages in it? Yeah, alright. Alright. Salt and pepper. and pork. Oh, that stuff cooked up all right. Let's see what it actually looks like. Well, I'll tell you what, that looks all right to me. A tiny bit pink. I won't bore you with the me eating and stuff, but I'm sure it'll be delicious. Hmm. Oh, of course you left that on for a minute and I'm falling out of Well, dinner was delicious. Tasted fantastic. Bit of capsicum and uh, mushroom really jazzes up a steak. The steak's always pretty good when it's cooked over the open fire like that, so. Yeah. Trevor had some sausages in wraps. Bit of salt and pepper. Yeah, all was good. You know, it's, um, oh, not that we've been doing it too hard already, but time to wind down. <laughs> we've been flat out, haven't we, Trev? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Working hard up there. Yeah. Yeah, someone's got to do it. No, it's, um, it's quiet on the fishing front. <laughs> Trevor put worms back on and tried them, and it's just, again, tinker, tinker, tinker. I think the river is absolutely populated to crazy with the, the freshwater shrimp at the moment. Um, the shrimp nets just like chockers full of them. Um, not many fish biting. You got that carp on the shrimp. Um, and if you put anything else in, worm or any other type of meat, it's um it's just shrimp attacking it, just constant on the rod. Anyway, we'll kick back a bit more, have a couple more drinks, let this fire wind down a bit. Keep on enjoying the night because the wind's dropped off finally. Uh, what else has happened, Drew? Not much else. Not much else at the moment. No, the fire's nice, it's quieting down, the wind's dropped off. So, um, yeah, we'll probably enjoy a couple more of these vodka and orange and um, a cigar. Keep doing that, because someone's got to do it. <laughs> Just going to let this finish, this fire finish burning off and I'll go throw the rest of this log into the river there. Uh, it's gone it's gone quiet. The wind's dropped down. It's just about time for bed. Trevor's headed off to bed just a minute ago. And um, we'll see you in the morning. Oh, well, you can get a free bug with one. 
Is it a buck? Is it a buck? It takes a right. <laughs> Bugs, yeah. There goes buddy. Oh. Big carp over there. Big carp in there like crazy, isn't there? Yeah. Been moving the water around before over that side. We really go that way. I was laying there last night and just hear you push, then jumping and shit. Yeah. Plenty of activity for all. Oh. Oh. Warming up now. It's um 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 it's time for us to go. All I've got to pack up left now is a chair and the camera that I'm using the film with and we'll head home. So anyway, um, if you like this video, please consider giving it a thumbs up. And if you like more stuff like this and reviews on gear and that, um, hit the subscribe button. Thanks. Bye.